Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the stream. Thank you guys very much for being here today. Tayan, Buffalo Bill, Monica, Lale, welcome. And thanks for being here. Uh, let's see, a little bit of housekeeping. For some reason, my, my Great Vault had another piece of gear in it. Uh, and the gear that it had was this cape. And so that was a nice surprise. I'm not sure exactly why we had more gear. I had already gotten the gear out like earlier in the week. Um, I, I don't know. But yeah, there it is. We, we have a, a purple cape. And so the only blues we have left are the trinket and the gloves. And if we can get rid of those, we'll be in all epics, which is awesome. Joshua, good morning. I appreciate you being here and checking out the stream. Let's see what key we left off with. We left off with a 13 Murazon's Rise. Uh, 13? Probably not. Probably not a 13 to start the day. Murazon's Rise, we have a 10. Um, yeah, let's, maybe we'll make it a 12? Maybe we'll make it a 12. Maybe that'll be okay. We're not in like the worst gear anymore, so we could probably start doing like slightly higher keys. Let's bump it down one. And let's try to post that. See how that goes. Thirty-three item level for a twelve key. I don't know. Uh, they're a warrior, so yeah, maybe. Marson, good morning, good afternoon, happy Friday to you as well, buddy. A four thirty rogue. It's all the, it's all the low item levels today. It's kind of scary. Karen, good evening. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for being here. There we go. Let's get a move on. Can crafters make trinkets? Like, could I potentially go to the trading, to the crafting post and have a trinket made for me? Because that would be cool. They can. Okay. Well, then I'm probably going to check that out after this run. I'm kind of holding on to hope that I get some gloves. Uh, you know, from the dungeon, so I can turn those into tier. But the trinket, if I could have one crafted, well, that would be awesome. Yeah, the crafter's post turned out to be really, really cool. I don't know when they added it. And I remember, like, initially trying to figure it out was uh, pretty confused. Like everything else in retail, at first it was pretty confusing. But then eventually, it started to make sense. 
so that that's been really nice. It's such a good way to like get pieces of gear that just aren't dropping. Although I will say that almost every time I've gotten a piece from the crafting post, I I've had a piece of gear drop, like, you know, like the next run. <laughs> so, yeah. Am I gonna do LFR? Uh, I don't know. I'm not sure, because I, I don't think the rewards are any good. Uh, I think I think the gear that I'm getting, for the most part, is better than LFR. And, like, honestly... I prefer, like, challenging content that's, like, a smaller group of people. As opposed to, like, 20 or 25 people just, like, running around frantically spamming a boss. I don't know. And also, like, I've, I've already missed, like, all the raids in Dragonflight. I think I'm gonna hold- I might hold off on raiding until War Within. Like, when we're doing War Within, I'll want to see the raids, like, as they come out. But I've already kind of- I've already missed the boat. And I don't really have any aspirations to do, like, harder raids in Dragonflight. There's a head enchant. Again, like, I'm not, I'm not, I just don't, I'm not sure how much I care. Like, for War Within, I will care a lot more. Like, I'm not, I'm not trying to, like, be a, a top mythic player or, like, min-max the game or anything like that. So, like, if it means I don't get a head enchant, I'm not, I'm not gonna be, like, too broken up. And then I'll, I'll probably just hold off on, like, doing, getting into any serious raiding until, uh, until War Within comes out. That's kind of the plan. Ty, good afternoon, buddy. What's been my favorite race to play? I'm always, like, partial to Blood Elves. I've always been partial to Blood Elves. Uh, although I haven't, like, when it comes to retail, I haven't played a lot of the allied races, so... Alright, everyone is ready. Am I ready? I'm basically ready. I don't know if I've had quite enough coffee today or not. Where? Where? I did say that, Amy. Yeah. I did, I, at, at some point yesterday, I did say that I, I didn't know if I was in a stream today. This can't be right. it'll, it'll probably be a short one. The problem is that I went to record, and I, I didn't really have anything that I was super hot to record. So here I am. I'm, I'm having this problem. It's really only a problem for me, I guess. Uh, I'm having this problem where I can't really, I can't really get into the idea of Cataclysm at all. And so, like, when I go to play, like, Potential, like, when I go to play, like, my Blood Elf Mage, like, I just can't, I'm just not, like, super interested in it. Which is kind of a problem for me. Seeing as how, like, creating content is predicated on the fact that I'm interested in, in recording said content. So I don't really know what to do about that. I wish I had a reason to be like more excited for Cataclysm. But I'm just not. Have I been enjoying Mythic Plus on my on my repellent? Yeah, I've been enjoying Mythic Plus to the exclusion of like basically all other things. That's kind of like it's like it's a it's a problem and it's good. It's like a it's a good problem to have because I've been having a really good time. Uh, but I've kind of been enjoying Mythic Plus to the exclusion of everything else in the game. So yeah. <laughs> yeah, like it's uh, it's gotten to the point where like I said I'm just not I'm not excited to touch Cataclysm. I'm trying to find like I'm trying to find like a, a an angle to be excited for it and I just really can't. 
How's the music today? The music seems like it might be kicking out. Let me know if the music is too loud. Oh damn, what was that? I think I stood in something massively bad. How are my classic players out there feeling about Cataclysm? Are you excited for it? Are you looking forward to it? Could you not care less? Yeah, I got my stupid barking dog. Yep. And I'm trying not to ride my mute key as much. So you'll probably hear like, you'll probably hear more barking dog and other miscellaneous background noise as I try to like, kind of break the habit of riding mute all the time. Parkow, good evening, buddy. Welcome to the stream. Taeun, Taeun, I'm interested in that. Like, did did you start playing WoW when Kata came out? Was Kata like where you started playing WoW? Is that why that you're you're excited for it? Because it's like nostalgia, or did you miss Cataclysm, or like you know what's your angle on that? I'm just trying to figure out like who Cataclysm Classic is for because I, I don't think it's for me like I don't know if it's for somebody who's played the game since the game came out but maybe it's for people who have nostalgia for Cataclysm because it was their first expansion maybe it's for people who missed Cataclysm because they started later I'm just trying to figure out like who is the audience for Cataclysm Classic So you missed you missed the Cataclysm release initially. Okay, so like you didn't get to experience the Cataclysm. That makes sense. Yeah, I, I do think that it's going to be more interesting for people that did not experience it the first time around. That being said, like my and my biggest problem with it is like those zones are in the game, and they've been in the retail game since Cataclysm came out. So like even if you weren't there to see the Cataclysm. You've seen the Cataclysm. Like, the content's been there. Like, have you just not... You haven't done any of the... Uh, uh, any of the Eastern Kingdoms or Kalimdor questing, like, in retail? Because the content's been there for ten years. And so, like, like, I guess maybe, like, the 80 to 85 zones, maybe those are less common to do. But, yeah, I don't know. Because, like, part of me wanted to, like, read all the quests and like see all the zones but then i just keep thinking like i i can already do that i can already do that in uh in retail <laughs> like i can already i've and i've already done a lot of it i've read a lot of the quest in the cata remake zones i've, I've seen a lot of the cata remake zones and i've seen them in retail uh where they look better 
where they're inhabited by updated uh like updated npcs updated enemy models like i've seen them all for the most part like in a version of the game that just looks better i guess if you're like if you're looking at it from the perspective of like seeing the class design like if you if you just like if you like the cataclysm class design i guess that would be one thing that you'd have to you'd have to play Cataclysm Classic to have the Cataclysm classes, but like, are the Cataclysm classes like super good? I don't know. Like, maybe they're okay. Yeah, I, I'm I'm hoping something happens that gets me excited for it. Because it's, it's been a bummer to just not be. And if I don't play Cataclysm, I'm going to have like a lot of time on my hands. I don't know. I don't know exactly what I would do with that time. Why did, oh, he killed the tank. <laughs> he, just, he killed the tank and he came after me next. That's that's a bummer. Uh, what's going on with this fight? I feel like I feel like I'm doing okay. The tank said, "Snap, my bad." And then he asked for a battle res, which uh, which didn't happen. For some people, Cata launched in peak adulthood. <laughs> peak adulthood. I, I, sorry, I'm not laughing at you. I, the term peak adulthood is interesting. Like, because what defines the peak of your adulthood? I'm not sure. I think you mean young adulthood. I think you mean young adulthood. <laughs> Maybe you mean like mid to late 20s or something. I don't know if that is like, as an older person, the, the term peak adulthood being applied to 20 something is also depressing in its own way. <clears throat> Uh, so it's yours is nostalgia. Nost you're saying like some kind of nostalgia. Yeah. See, I was I was in my 20s when like original WoW came out. So like my peak adulthood was during like Burning Crusade, vanilla Burning Crusade. If we're saying peak adulthood is young to mid 20s. Oh, damn it. <laughs> uh, this is. I I should always I should know better than to do a 12 key like first thing in the morning. Especially a 12 key of the, the, the Dawn of the Infinites, like... Yeah. I should at least wait until after I've finished my coffee to have a, to do a 12 key. Uh, put me right into an effect, please. Okay, we're, we're alive for the moment. We gotta be doing something back here, right? What's going on with this? I feel like I just ignore this mechanic, and I don't think I should be ignoring this mechanic. Uh, no, I should be getting the orbies. Okay, we got some orbs. I really hope we can kill this guy. I hope I don't get killed anymore. I feel like the boss is like turning sometimes and I'm just like getting clipped by some of his like AoE cleave stuff. Never 
inevitable. Well, we got him, and that's good. I See, I missed the boat on EverQuest. I, I, I never played EverQuest. <clears throat> I don't even think we had... We, we probably didn't even have a gaming PC until, when EverQuest was out. I think, like, the first functioning gaming PC that we had in the house was uh, when Warcraft 3 came out. Yeah, well, for some reason, when Warcraft 3 came out, like... It, it, it coincided, like, randomly with my father kind of getting into building PCs. Even though, like, he himself was not a gamer and not really even, like, a techie. I think, I think he had a friend who, like, got him into building PCs for a little bit. And so, like, right when War 3 came out, like, my father, who was altogether completely fucking useless for my entire life, like, he just happened to have built a decent computer when War 3 came out. And I must have been, like, 17 or 18. Maybe, maybe a little younger. And so that was the first gaming PC that we had, like, in the house. So I missed, like, EverQuest and probably a couple other things. Yeah, see, in 99, I, I would have been playing on my PlayStation 1. PlayStation 1 was my jam in, in 1999. I was probably playing, like, Final Fantasy 8 or Final Fantasy 9 at that time. We made it! <laughs> That's the first time I've made it after like since like day one of being in here. If you have more than 10 plus deaths before the first boss, just call it. The group is hexed. <laughs> I think, I, yeah, we have a lot of deaths. That 18, 17 is a lot. Maybe if we had, like, more than 10 group wipes. Yeah, like, if we had wiped 10 times on the first boss, then I probably would have given up. I would not have been the first to give up. If we wiped 10 times on the first boss, someone else would have given up first. We got, we got a dead person. Looks like the warrior bit it. Oh, 
Somehow I'm like topping the DPS in this run, even though I feel like I'm like super distracted. I'm not focusing at all. I'm I miss clicking half of my buttons. I feel like I've done really poorly to be doing to be doing this well in the meters. Are my meters borked? <laughs> am, I, am I doing an average of ninety one thousand DPS? It doesn't seem right. Cause I know for a fact that I'm not playing that well this morning. I can feel it. Oh man, I did a couple world quests yesterday. I, I went to the Emerald Dream on this character and I did a couple world quests. And I do hit normal mobs like a truck. It's like a huge difference in how I remember like fighting stuff in the Emerald Dream when I first hit level cap. And now I like, I literally just crush things. It, it's kind of fun actually. Welcome to the Rep Pally. It's just overpowered, right? Like, yeah, because I don't think I'm even playing it that well. It, it's just like, it's hitting so hard. It's fun to play, but at higher level keys, I have to use all of its utility correctly. Then I'll never do higher level keys. Yeah, I'm not... I'm not that good. <laughs> like, I'll, I'll listen, I'll probably be able to get, like, my, my goal is to get Keystone Master. And, like, I don't really plan to push keys, like, super hard beyond that, you know? I think the only way that I would be really interested in, like, really pushing the envelope on keys is if I had a good static group. I think that's really the only way that that kind of content could be fun. I, I want to do what I need to do to get Keystone Master on my characters. And that's probably, like, for now at least, the extent of my, of my ambitions. And if I were to, like I said, if I, if I were to do higher keys, like, I, I would only really do that in a static. Because I can definitely see, like, how people in those higher keys could get angsty. Because what you said, you said that I have to use utility, but what I, the weird thing is like what I heard is that I'll need to have like a, a weak or as add on. <laughs> you said I'll need to use all my utility correctly, but I, I heard you'll have to have weak auras to tell you when to interrupt and when your when your utility's off cooldown and stuff like that. That's what I heard. It's weird. And I, and I don't plan to run with any add ons, so. So this, is, this is an add-on free Mythic Plus adventure. Like, I'll, I interrupt sometimes now. I'm getting better at sometimes hitting my interrupt button. And that's about as good as it gets for me and utility. Is that every, every once in a while, I hit an interrupt. Yes, yeah, you'll need a mouse over macro for interrupts fast. See, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> that's that's what I'm saying. It's like, nah, I'm not gonna do that, and I'm not gonna use weak auras, and I'm not gonna use DBM, and I'm not. So like, I'll be ha I'll be happy with Keystone Master. I'll be happy with Keystone Master, and and then maybe in War Within we do some like heroic raiding. But I have zero interest in in mythic raiding. And yeah, and I think that I think that'd be good. I, I think like Keystone Master, mythic five mans, and then some heroic raiding, and I, I feel like that's a good journey for a character.
lieutenant. We've we've got a dead healer. We have ourselves a dead healer, and that is not that is not really great. Not really sure how this is gonna go. It's probably not gonna go well. That's uh, that's obvious. Okay, that's that's about what I expected. I was trying to heal myself a little bit with Word of Glory, but obviously, like any mistakes here is uh, is not good. Is the reward for Keystone Master a mount? I have no idea. Yeah, I don't have a clue. I don't know. Are they gonna get this? I guess maybe I could come back. Yeah, like maybe I start somewhere nearby. Um, shoot. Okay, um, not really. Okay, let's follow this guy. He probably knows where he's going. He probably knows where he's going. He's probably smarter than me, so. It's a ground mount. Like, listen, like, who cares about ground mounts anymore? Like, I don't like that. Because, like, yeah, like, oh, cool, a ground mount. I'll ride that never. Unless they have expansions where they restrict flying for a little bit. Like, when am I ever going to care about a ground mount? It's got to be It's got to be a dragon riding mount or I'm probably not going to turn it on. Yeah. I mean, the only way it would be cool is uh, is if they restrict flying like for the first couple levels of a new X-Pack. That's the only time I'm going to be on a ground mount. Um, I'm not sure exactly what we're doing. Uh, it looks like we're waiting for the tank. We're waiting for the tank. I could be, yeah, but I could just do this. I could be on a ground mount right now, or I could just be on the mount that I already have keybound. Like, you're, you're talking about a scenario where now I have to keybind two different mounts, and I'm just not willing to accept that. Alex, good morning and happy Friday, man. Thanks for being here. Kevin, it's a good time to come back, man. It's kind of like a golden age of World of Warcraft. I don't think there's been a better time to come back, and there might not ever be a better time. But then again, you know, WoW will probably always be here. It's been here for 20 years. It'll probably be around for 20 more, so... Everybody's dead again. Everybody's dead again but me. I don't I don't know why. Why am I the only person that's living? I don't like it. 
I really don't think I can do this by myself. Yeah, it, it seems very unlikely that I'm gonna kill him by myself. If I do a plus 10 next season, you get a portal to the dungeon. Uh, like, what do you mean? Like a, like a portal device that I can open portals whenever I want and portal myself around? <laughs> do you think it's bad players? Ah, uh, their item- well... Well, you know, they might be their item levels. I remember a couple of the DPS had questionable item levels. And the tank and the healer had good item levels, and I thought, like, well, that would- that'll work, you know? Uh, I don't- I- again, I don't know where these people went. Kinda hoping they went this way. A portal straight to the dungeon. Well, that- that's cool. Yeah, I mean, that's like getting a summon, I mean... A portal to the dungeon. I mean, when you- when you queue up for heroics and stuff, it teleports you in, so I guess it'd be cool to have a mechanic where you can teleport to the mythics. Although it's- the timeways are a neat idea. I, I kind of don't mind how we've been using the timeways to like, get to the other- get to the other dungeons that weren't part of the X-Pack. Uh, do we cross through? Yeah, I guess we can cross through. Oh man, we're not- we're not hitting the timer? Like, <laughs> god damn, I've just got- I've been so caught up. I haven't really realized like how bad this group is doing. I kind of just wanted to clear this so that my key just- I want my key to become a different key. Like, I really don't want to do Mirazan's Rise or Galakron's Fall. I'm kind of burned out on these two. I- I'd love to do like maybe- I, I would even do like an Everbloom. Maybe a Black Rook Hold would be okay, but yeah. 29 deaths, yeah, we're... We've crossed a- we have two minutes left. We've crossed a, a critical threshold here. There's no way that we clear this. Not gonna happen. Hey, we got him. I mean, at least we killed him. I, I I don't know. Do we just do we just clear the run? Like, if I stay in this and we don't beat the timer, and I clear the run, will I at least get a different key? Because the alternative is just like failing this one and having to do it all again with a different group. Have I played any Diablo? Like any? Yeah, I've played Diablo. I'm not- I'm not a big fan of, uh, ARPG combat. I had a lot of fun playing Diablo 3... ...back when it came out. Diablo 4 was kind of just an awful experience all around. But ultimately what I realized was that I just- I kind of hate the combat in ARPGs. I'm not a big fan of, like, the throw wave after wave after wave of enemy at you, and you, you just kind of machine gun them down. It's not- it's not interesting combat to me. But I, I realized that after playing Last Epoch. Like, Last Epoch was a much better game than Diablo 4. But ultimately, it's just like, wave after wave of endless dudes coming at you, and you just like, gun them all down. Like, it's... It's very, like, underwhelming combat-wise for me.
it will switch keys and i'll still have a chance to loot at the chest at the end okay yeah we'll just stick it out and do it it sucks to fail the timer obviously but not really not really a big deal i guess Oh, we lost the rogue. That's a bummer. We we lost both DPS. To the uh, to the chase mechanic. Uh, looks like one of them got a battle res though. And yeah, we battle res the warrior. This group has had some struggles. It'll be nice if we can complete it.
Chi. I wonder if we could have been friends in another time. She did have great hair. A little heavy on the eyeliner, though. A full melee group with this last boss will be interesting. Oh. Yeah, I mean, listen. This group has struggled pretty hard. Like, anything is going to be interesting with this group. <laughs> because, yeah, it's been... It's been a time. It's been a lot of time, more specifically. I'm basically like I'm constantly feeling like if I don't use holy power to heal myself that I'm gonna that the like, I'm gonna die. Like I have barely been using my holy power to attack because yeah, I'm taking so much damage, like and it's not it's not quickly being healed back up, so I, I feel like the, the healer is kinda struggling to keep everybody alive. But it's it's kinda cutting into like what I can do. Like damage wise. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not sure if we, we we put a lot of effort into this to get this far, but I don't know if this group is gonna make it. I don't know if this group is gonna make it. Everyone is taking too much damage. The healers having a hard time keeping everyone alive because of that. Uh, and yeah, it's just it's not looking good. Yeah, I mean the the rogue is a weak link, uh, like from the perspective, like both like his DPS is not good, and he doesn't really have the HP to be in here. But it's really just like it's a whole group problem. It's a group problem at this point. It's not like it's not even just like one person. It's just straight up uh, an entire problem with the entire group. I'm literally just having to focus on healing myself and keeping myself alive. 
And because of that, we're outputting about like, you know, like two, we're outputting like two thirds of the DPS that we should be outputting. And because of that, the enemies are up longer, and because of that, people take more damage. I don't think we're gonna- I'm gonna give this boss, like, we're gonna give it a couple shots. And, uh, I'm not gonna- like, I've already spent a lot of time in this run today. I, I don't want to spend, like, the entirety of my afternoon in here with this group. I, I think, like, I think 44 deaths is, like, you know, we stuck it out. The timer ran down, we got 44 deaths, we get, we get like 10 more deaths every pull, we get 10 more deaths. I think I've stuck it out pretty long. Um, the only problem is like, I really would like to clear this, because I, I don't want to do this dungeon again. I'm kind of over, I'm kind of over this dungeon, like in general, and I would love for my key to become a different key. So I'm just kind of hoping that a miracle happens and that we somehow clear the boss. Yeah, like I'm not, like the problem is I could carry them if I could stop healing myself. <laughs> I could probably do an okay job of actually carrying them at this point if I didn't have to constantly spam Word of Glory heal on myself to keep myself alive. That's going to be the problem. Is like if, I, if I can just get some consistent heals, we, we might be able to do it. Yeah, no. Like, the first wave of, like, AoE damage went out, and we're already dead. We already lost two DPS, just, like, drop of a hat. A hat dropped, and we lost two DPS. Like, I don't think it's gonna happen, guys. I don't think it's gonna happen. Oh uh, yeah, we got we got portals up. Our dream is our hope. Oh boy. Will 
not come to pass. We protect Azeroth. We safeguard its future. And dream of a better tomorrow. This will slow you down. Oh my god. Oh my effing god. I gotta say something to these guys. So... <laughs> Warrior. Rogue. I don't mean to be rude. Truly, I don't. However... Please do some lower keys. And get some gear. before doing any higher keys. Okay. There we go. There was my politely phrased... My politely phrased feedback that nobody cares about, nobody needs. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I just... I had to say something because... It was just like... they, they I shouldn't have invited them to the key, so like obviously partially it's my fault. But secondly, they should just know... Oh damn, did we just get a trinket? <laughs> I was talking about how I was going to have to use the uh, the crafting post to make a trinket. I'm pretty sure we just got an awesome trinket. Yeah, right, right, right. KJ, he did turn the funnel towards me, didn't he? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I When he did that, I thought that was an intentional wipe too. I thought, man, this guy's just trying to wipe us. And I just started, like, I just continued to heal myself, you know? Yeah, I'm glad you noticed that, because when he did that, like, I almost lost it. Because, like, I, I, it felt like a, it was a quick turn. He turned the boss quickly at me and, uh, and whoever else was left alive. Like, it was like he was, like, done with it. He just wanted, he wanted the wipe, you know? <laughs> but we didn't wipe. Uh, okay, well, I mean, hey... Like, we stuck it out when, like, all evidence pointed to the fact that we shouldn't be sticking it out. And because of that, I got an amazing trinket. And because of that, we have only one last blue to replace. So that's pretty cool. We're at a 450 item level, which is great. But, like, <laughs> the run was so bad, you know, and I almost left so many times. I'm really happy that I didn't leave. Yeah, I'm really happy that I stuck it out. This has an on use. So I'll have to... It grants you 3,200 of your highest secondary stat. For 20 seconds. Okay, so like, what did that key become? That, that got bumped down to a 11, but it's a Waycrest Manor. Uh, Waycrest Manor... Waycrest Manor we have at a, at a 12 already. Oof. Waycrest, is that even gonna be worth doing? Like, I mean, I guess I could get some gear out of it, potentially. I have 2,800 gold left. We, we are soon to be completely and utterly borked. I got this bind... I... I I did like two quests, two world quests in like the Emerald Dream, and the first enemy that I killed, I killed like those little spriggans in the t in the main town. The first enemy I killed dropped this uh, trinket, uh, four twenty four bind on equip. I should probably sell this for like five gold on the auction house. That should be what I do. Uh, let's let's look at it first. Like, what are these selling for? Like two gold probably. Oh, I don't even... I, I don't even see, like, I don't even see this one. This is a, a 424. Okay, 424's... 9,000 gold? I could, I could use 9,000 gold. Uh, I'll probably just undercut... I'll probably just undercut it. So that I actually sell it. Um, how, how, how do I sell things on the auction house? 
Okay, like that. I, I do it like that. I'm gonna I'm gonna undercut this just to annoy people. Because, you know. That's what you do. Let's just make it 8,900. And that should be good. Uh, do I have a buyout? Yeah, buyout mode. Okay. I would love to sell that for 8,900 gold. That, that would be, like, for me, that would be a huge amount of gold to get off of a random buy not equipped trinket that I got off a stupid little spriggan in the Emerald Dream. Uh, okay. Let's see. I got you, Zenkai. Cancel on that one, though. Yeah, Way Waycrest Manor's nice. I like the vi Waycrest Manor is like, reminds me kind of like of Shadowfin Keep. It's kind of got like a, a similar vibe. Definitely one of the ones that I like on this rotation, like aesthetically. For some reason, I'm start. I'm I'm coming to hate the uh, the dawn of the the two dawn of the infinite ones. Like I I just don't really like them. I think it's Chromie's annoying voice. This it's something about those runs that like gets into my head, and I like it's the there's one part where the music goes crazy, like it's like a TV show intro. Do 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 do. It's like the music just goes crazy, like it's an intro for an episode of Fringe, but it never stops. It just keeps going, and then there's Chromie's voice. Which I find, like, for some reason, I find it really annoying. Uh, I really, I don't know if we need three pallies. Like, it's tempting. It's tempting, but I'm gonna... I'm gonna clear, clear, clear. Alright, so yeah, we, we only need, uh, we only need heals and tank. I don't, I just don't like it. I wish Chromie could just have, I know she's small. I, I know that, like, I know gnomes are small, I just don't know if that means that they all have to have, like, squeaky, high-pitched voices and sound like children. Like... If you're, if you're, like, a, a 10,000 year old dragon aspect, or just dragon, whatever she is. And so, okay, so your, your visage form is a gnome, like, I get it. Do you have to sound like a, like an 8 year old child, though? Can you have, like, just a voice, like a different voice? Maybe one that's not so grating? No offense to the voice actor. It feels like the voice has been put through some kind of modulation, like, after it's been voice acted. So this is, like, no offense to the voice actor. Uh, I just don't like it. It's not for me. Uh, okay, okay. <laughs> Paladin tank. Okay, okay, um... 432, like, I don't know. I'm not gonna take a 432 tank right now. I've had a, just had a bad group. So I just, I kind of want a, a tank with a little bit higher of an item level, if we can. Make sure in the courtyard I focus on interrupting infected thorns. This will kill us. Okay. I'll, I'll try. Infected thorns. I think that's one that I, that I've seen before that I have tried to, to interrupt, so... I will, I will try. <laughs> Many deals for a friend of the Grummels, <laughs> like you.
Jackie, good afternoon. Marcus, happy Friday to you. Welcome to the stream. And sorry if I've missed anybody this morning. There have probably been people who have come in and... If I've missed you, I apologize. I was a little bit focused on that last run because the group was uh, kind of a challenge. Am I prepping for raids? No. No, I'm not I'm not I'm not pre I'm not prepping for raids. I'm prepping for season four Mythic Plus. Um Yeah, I don't I don't really have a big plan to do raids in uh in Dragonflight. I think I'm gonna hold off on raiding. We'll try out raiding in uh in War Within. I don't I don't have a like a big interest in like the larger group sizes. Like my favorite raids were when raids were ten man raids. And there are no 10-man raids in retail. I, I'm pretty sure it's just like 20-man flex. Which isn't really interesting to me. I would I would rather fo if I'm gonna do hard content, I'd rather have it be a smaller group size. And I, I think like I would probably I would probably only ever do like normal or heroic raiding. Even if I did raiding, it wouldn't be mythic raiding. And so I'm, I'm pretty sure the gear I can get just doing Mythic 5 mans is going to be like equivalent or better than the gear that I would get out of like a normal raid. You can do 10 man. I've heard differently. I, I've, people have told me there is no there is no 10 man raid size. But I don't really know. Either way, for this expansion I'm just not really interested in the raids. I'll, I'll be more interested in War Within when I'm actually like active throughout all the different all the different patches and when I can progress from like one raid to the next as opposed to like trying to come in at the end of an expansion and like do raiding I'd rather just wait until it's fresh it's only mythic that's restricted in that way that's cool yeah and it's the same thing like I don't I don't really want to pug normal and heroic raids and the gear I'm getting now is going to be better than looking for raid like LFR so like I don't really have a reason to do LFR and I don't really want to pug, like, normal or heroic raids. You know, people want you to get into their Discord, and they want you to be on comms, and, like, I don't I don't want to jump in someone's Discord or, or be on comms. Especially for, like, what I do. The last thing I want is to, like, have to either manage my audio in such a way that it, it's not on the stream, or have to, like, have some random Discord audio, like, on the stream. Uh, where are we going? I don't I have no idea where we're going. We're at Waycrest Manor. We're going to Waycrest. Oh. Yeah, like I said, LFR is not worth it, and I, and I don't feel like getting into somebody's pickup group for a raid. I just don't and I, like. I don't know the raid fights and. I'm not gonna go like read a guide, so I'm good. I'm just gonna wait. I'll just wait till War Within, and then we'll see how we feel about the raids. When I can learn them with everybody, like as they come out, and not have to worry about being like an entire season behind, like then I'll be more interested. Can I craft tear gloves now that I have a trinket? I don't know. I have no idea. I, I think like when you get something crafted, you can't make it tear. So like I craft, I got my chest crafted, 
And from, from what I've been told, crafted gear, you cannot turn it into tier gear. So, like, if I want to turn something into tier gear, it has to, it has to drop out of the dungeon. Blands and good afternoon, buddy. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for being here. And yeah, like, keep in mind, like, prior to, like, two weeks ago, I, I didn't play any endgame, like, in Dragonflight. <laughs> these, these last two weeks where we've been doing Mythics has been the first time that I've, like, truly engaged with endgame in, like, seven years. Since, like, basically since, like, Legion. Legion would have been the last time that I, like, raided, that I was, like, weekly engaged for a while with, like, endgame activities. I guess I could uh, I could do a ready check and we can get this show on the road. For me, Mythic Plus is more fun because of the the smaller group size. Welcome, old daughter. I see you. I can't wait to check out like a, a mega dungeon in, in the next expansion when like you know when the mega dungeon is new. I like the idea of mega dungeons. I usually do a ready check before I put the key in. And then the key, once you have the key in, the key does its own countdown. But yeah, I, I usually do a ready check. And you know, if people aren't ready at that point, then they just don't have to click the thing. And if they are ready, I, I assume that means that they're ready. And then I, uh, I put the key in. My demon hunter didn't get to metamorphosis. He'll, he'll live. He'll be, he'll be okay. Yeah, I think he'll be fine.
your soul. The thorns see fire will be its undoing. those souls a service by setting them free. Make sure Lady Waycrest pays dearly for this foul witchcraft. <laughs> if I if I ever talked once in a while, wow, yeah, I know, I I just don't talk enough. I think a lot of people would disagree with you. I think there are a lot of people who probably wish sometimes that I would talk a lot less. Yeah, obviously, like, like the nature of the content that I'm doing means that I, I can't talk as much, or at least that I probably shouldn't talk as much. I could probably go on and on and on about a great many things, uh, but, you know, it would be a little bit distracting. I, I try to give the groups a little bit of focus, you know. And then, you know, we always have time to chat during wipes or, you know, back in town between runs. And I, I still do try to talk. If something interesting happens or somebody says something interesting, I always try to address it. So, yeah, it just is what it is. There are probably lots of uh, lots of channels out there you could watch where the people talk more. So if that's what you're into, then you can probably find that no problem. Have I checked out any of the War Within stuff that's came out over the past couple days? Yeah, I looked at a little bit of it. It's, you know, 
I looked at a little bit of it and I was like, I had story stuff spoiled for me like pretty much right away. Like somebody's literal thumbnail was a huge story spoiler. And yeah, like, I mean, stuff's gonna get spoiled anyway because I'm gonna play the beta when I get beta access. So like, I'm probably gonna be spoiled to the story stuff anyway. I'd rather get spoiled to the story stuff when I'm playing the beta. Like, if I'm gonna be spoiled to, to it, I want it to be, like, through my own experience. So I've kind of been avoiding, like, some news. I, I saw that they were looking at, like, possibly a new allied race uh, on WoWhead today, I saw. I forget what they're called. They're like, they're like furry troll night elves. Like, they're, they got a little bit of body hair. They look a little bit like trolls mixed with night elves. Like, some kind of middling evolution between trolls and night elves. And that, they looked pretty cool. I saw that. You know, and I saw I saw a preview of the first zone. I, I watched a Bellular vid where he like kind of previewed some stuff from Alpha on the first zone. It looks okay. I saw some stuff about the delves. The delves look okay. Everything looks like very okay, which makes sense because it's Alpha, so like things are not going to look like super amazing in, in like a completely non-finished state. <laughs> it's fine. Yeah, they, they, I don't know if they were... I, I don't mean that they were, like, furry. Well, they were a little bit furry. I, I, I got nothing against it. I'm, pro I'm probably not going to play the race, but uh, they looked okay. I would rather... I'd rather have playable Naga. That would be the only disappointing thing about this 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 new race. If they were like a new allied race, I, I'd kind of rather have just playable Naga. The new dwarves are okay. Like I I kind of like like canonically like I didn't really remember who the new dwarves were. I guess the Earthen were a big deal in in Cataclysm, but like I didn't really remember the Earthen or really care about them. I also, like, I kind of feel like we got dwarves covered already, like, you know, we got, we got Dark Iron Dwarves, we got traditional dwarves, you can make, like, a Wild Hammer variant with the in-game customizations now. I kind of felt like we had dwarves covered. So when, the, when they pre, when they showed the Earthen, I was, like, I was confused because I didn't really know who the Earthen were at the time. But also my, my prevailing thought was, like, don't we, don't we have enough dwarves? Like, why do, do we need more dwarves? None will escape I don't know entrance. that we do. Hurry. Set them the I don't, I don't, I mean, I'll probably play one. If, if they have, like, an origin story, if they have, like, a starting zone, then I'll probably play an Earthen to check out their starting zone and check out their story. But, like, I, as far as, like, a long-term character, I don't have any interest in it. My ancestors defeated you ages ago. Hurry. The, the warbands look okay. The only thing that I really care about with the warbands is it makes the login screen look cooler. Obviously having like your shared renown tracks, is, it, it's gonna be nice for people that care about their renown tracks. Yeah, it'd be nice to have something different for an allied race, but like what really can they do? I mean, and then they if this, if this new race is a playable race that I was looking at, then you know they kind of already did. Let's let's see if I can find what I was looking at. Uh, the Haronin, H A R R O N I R, Haronir, Haronir. The Haronir. And yeah, they they look like uh like like the trolls started to evolve towards being night elves. And they seem like right in the middle of that. Thank you, heroes. You've so yeah, the and us they're they're in they're interesting looking. We are in your debt. Their their body type is interesting. I, I kind of see like what they're trying to do here. I don't know why they have patches of fur on like the outside of their legs, but yeah, but they do. The missing link. Yeah, yeah, they're like the missing link. They have a furry backside. 
I don't know. <laughs> they look cool. Again, probably not probably not something that I'm going to play as, but they look cool. Oh yeah, what's up with their feet? That's a good point. Gotta check their feet. Oh, I can't see their feet? There's gotta be a shot where I can see their feet. Oh, they have normal feet. This is a big win. Yeah, they, can, they have feet that can go into boots. And that's really, really important to me. So yeah, like, maybe I would play this race. They look kind of cool. They're like, they're, they look like a cooler version of like a troll and, and they can, they can wear boots and that's huge. And, uh, and the body type A doesn't look completely stupid. It's one of the, it's one of the few races where the body type A, I, I, I won't say normal because like, obviously this body type is not, is not normal, but you know, their forearms are not bigger than their heads. It's close. But yeah, the body type A is almost, almost normal looking. It reminds me more of like blood elf proportions than like human proportions. Which is good. For me. Someone at Blizzard has a... F I don't think so. <laughs> you guys. I mean, yes, Johnny. There are people at, at Blizzard who have fetishes. Because those people exist everywhere. Yeah, I think so. But I don't know if that's why they make these these races. They, they're just trying to make stuff for everybody, you know, like not not every race is going to be for everybody. But I guess like overall, like you have so many races to pick from that, you know, you'll find a couple that you like, even if there are some, even if there are some that you don't, that you don't like as much. Looking at you, Evoker. Yeah. Like, I'm never going to play Volpera, but there are people out there who, like, that's their jam. They just want to be a little fox person, and that's fine with me. I'm, I don't want it, but, you know, they do, and so that's okay. Uh, what do I want to do now? I don't really know. Uh, we could do a 14 Atel- oh god, 14 Atel Dizarre. We tried to do a 14 Atel Dizarre yesterday, I think, and it en it ended in us doing an 11 Atel Dizarre. After multiple failures. One of your guildies only has Volpera. What is- you know, how did they play the game before Volpera was an option? That's a- they must have been suffering for a long time. They must have been suffering for a long time before, uh, Volpera were an option. Maybe they played as Worgen. As someone who often gets shit because of the types of characters that I play, I will never give anybody else shit. Because of the shit that I sometimes get from people. And this is only because I often play body type B. So because of that, like, I will never question anybody else's character. Like, whatever you want to play is awesome. I'm never going to degrade your character choice. I have opinions about the races, but those opinions do not do not extend to the people who choose to play those races. Like, I can have an opinion that says the, the dragons are, are silly looking, and I think they look like mascots. However, like, that aesthetic judgment does not filter over into making any kind of judgment about the person behind the character. I don't give a shit about that person, their preferences, their proclivities. I'm just happy that they play a game where they can make the character they want and I hope they're happy with it. Because yeah, I don't I don't I don't have a place in my life for judging people based on what type of video game avatar they choose. I really don't care what they're into. Like it doesn't matter to me. And I would advise like <laughs> I would advise anybody to like not not make any like judgments upon something so absolutely meaningless to your life. Uh, let's start a group. Let's, we'll try it. We'll, we'll try this 14 Intel Desire, and if it doesn't work out, I wouldn't be surprised. They, I think they look like mascots because the neck is so long. I just imagine a guy, like, inside the suit looking out through neck holes. Like, I just see a mascot. That's my problem, you know? It's not the problem of somebody who loves the Draconids. I would rather be, like, more like this. 
if I could make a dragon boy like this, I would, and we would be a sword and board warrior. Because I think these dragonids look awesome. They don't look like mascots, uh, because they don't have like a super long neck. And they're not very like thin. Yeah, I like these guys. I'm, I'm waiting for the day that we can roll like as one of these, like as a warrior. I think that'd be really awesome. Uh, okay, uh, yeah, hmm, nah. I'm gonna do a big nah on that. That tank looked a little bit undergeared. Uh, we got, I'm taking this healer, that's awesome. I am taking this uh, other DPS, that's gonna work out perfectly. Oh, the healer canceled. Of course he did, of course he did. At least buy some drums, but you buy them for me and send them to me. And then I'll have drums. I'm broke, so I, I, I have to I have to ration my money. Ah, uh, four fifty nine. I mean, sure, I'll take it. We'll try. They are cheap. I'm cheaper. I'm even cheaper. I, I literally have no money. I'm I'm only I'm only spending money on like necessities. You'll notice I have not popped a file in like the, any of the runs we've done today. And then, like, in Season 4, I'll, I'll, I'll try to care a little bit more. But I, ultimately, I'm probably not going to care, like, too much. I'm not, I'm not trying to min-max, or... I'm not trying to do anything except have a good time. That's all. I should buy some enchants, though. Enchants would be good. Now that I, ha now that I have some gear, I always worry with enchants that, like, as soon as I enchant something, I'm going to replace it. So maybe I'll just wait. Like, on, on Monday, like, before Season 4 comes out, then I'll probably go through and I'll get some enchants. But I, I don't... I, I just kind of worry about spending the money and then replacing the items. I never set up the P.O. Box. I didn't set up a P.O. Box. I kind of worry about, like, what people might send me in a P.O. Box. You know, <laughs> like I, I kind of worry. And then what, what would happen is even if I had a P.O. box, what do you think the odds are that I would ever remember to check it? Yeah, all my gear will probably be replaced when season four starts. That's a good point. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't even worry about it. Yeah, I like that philosophy. I like it. Don't worry about it because you're going to replace all your gear. That's kind of the boat that I've already been in. So yeah, I'll just wait, I'll wait and I'll see what kind of gear I start getting from Season 4 and then maybe if we get some really incredible pieces, maybe then I'll, I'll put the enchants on them. I, I put up a trinket on the auction house for like 8,900 gold. If I, if I sell that trinket for 8,900 gold, that could help out a lot. And then maybe I could afford some more stuff. Don't send the drums to my P.O. Box, yeah. Don't send me like some bongos. Yeah, they'd eventually call me and tell me that my box is full. They'd be like, come empty your box, jerk. And then I, I would probably still not go do it. Yeah, next season, a Mythic Zero, they said, was supposed to be like a Mythic Ten. Like, Heroic, Heroic is going to be the new Mythic Zero. And Mythic Zero is going to be like more like a Mythic Ten. That's what I read slash heard. And then somebody said that Keystone Master was going to be, uh, like, plus three, like a, a, a three key. Like, getting a three key and everything was going to signify Keystone Master. And I don't know. I, don't, I guess we'll have to wait and see. I did get an axe. Somebody gave this to me, actually. Somebody, like, it dropped for them, they didn't need it, and they gave it to me. I got really lucky. Otherwise, I don't know what kind of crap weapon that I would have right now. I'd probably be- this is not the best thing, but it's a lot better than what I had. Alright, we're off to Atal Dazar. Yeah, less unnecessary. I wonder, like, so what's the highest key that we're gonna be able to do in Season 4? Like, I'm assuming if a- if a 0 feels like a 10, and a 10 feels like a 20, I'm assuming that you're not going to be doing like 25 keys. Because then that would feel like a 35? I don't know, maybe people will be doing that, I have no idea. 
Uh, Atal Dazar is trolls. It's nice that heroics might actually be relevant again. Uh, but then again, like, with how easy it was for me to start doing Mythic Zeros... I don't know. You know what I wish? I wish they would let you use the Q for Mythic Zeros. Like, you should be able to use the automated finder to do a Mythic Zero. That would have been a nice change. I guess, like, changing the heroics to make them more equivalent with Mythic, with mythic Zero is, is fine. But I feel like a, a different fix could have just been make Mythic Zeros queuable. And then that could be people's like way into doing Mythic runs. You know, you queue up for your first Mythic Zero, you get a key, and then you have a choice. Do I do you want to keep queuing for Mythic Zero or do you want to start pushing keys? That could have been a nice thing. Like, I don't think I'd want to see like... I don't know. I, I feel like, yeah, it'd be hard It'd be hard to do the other keys because then you'd have to have a drop down for like plus one, plus two, plus three, whatever. Like, so don't do it for keys. But Mythic Zero should be queuable. Yeah, it's very, it's very similar to what they did with the Gamma runs. And the Gamma runs were queuable. Like, after, not right away they weren't. I think when they first put out the Alphas, I don't think they were queuable. Oh, you know what? The LFG wasn't even in the game when the alpha runs came out, I don't believe. But then when the LFG did go into the game, they made them queuable. So yeah, I think Mythic Zero should be queuable. Uh, let's do a little ready check here. I will pop a flask. Uh, we're waiting on the healer. Healer's good. Let's do it. They're making the change basically to do, to do like a number squish on the keys because the keys were getting out of hand. And that makes sense. A, a little stat squish on the keys. I, like, I had nowhere to go, and I was slowed. Like, and I don't think anybody got to line of sight. There didn't really seem like there was a lot of line of sight available. We got a couple raptors up. That's probably not great. Oh, he's dead anyway. Rezan was a powerful lure. Perhaps you will make a worthy sacrifice for Zoom.
What if the affixes change like midway through the dungeon? I think that would aggravate lots of people. <laughs> it would be it would probably be interesting. But I it might it might also lead to like rage. Apparently this was my totem.
I, I'm not. I'm not sure what is going on with the purple orb. It's uh, it's very purple and orb-like, and it seems to be. It seems to now be persistent. Zenkai, I, I might have to ask you to stop being so purple. <laughs> I I don't know why you suddenly became a purple orb, but it's it's like it's kind of distracting. <laughs> I, I've never seen someone become a purple orb before. Not for such a long period of time, but yeah, it's very it's very purpley. I I you if if you give me a seizure, I'm gonna kick you from the group. If you give anybody in chat a seizure, I'm going to kick you from the group and ban you. It's definitely, it's definitely making my list of uh, top visually uh, assaulting toys. Like, I, I don't know if there should be toys in the game that are so, like just like kind of annoying and, and like other players just have to look at them <laughs> like you don't have a choice suddenly the guy you're grouped with is a is a purple ball and there's nothing you can do about it he's just going to be a purple ball as long as he wants thank you thank you for no longer being a purple ball i appreciate it There we go. Good, my thanks for killing the priestess. You have only succeeded in strengthening my hold on the In Final Fantasy, you can turn off other people's effects. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, in WoW, you can't. Like, you can turn the spell effects down. But unfortunately, there's no option to simply, like, turn off other player spell effects. There should be. Because, like, when you're doing, like, a world boss, and I'm sure, like, some of the raids, like, it's just hard to see stuff with so many spell effects going on. 
So yeah, I, I kind of wish you could just like turn off other people's effects. Although like the, you'd have to have an option to leave on, like healing effects would have to stay on, you know, like the, the healing puddles, like healers now leave sometimes. You'd have to still be able to see like healing effects, I guess. But I, I don't think I need to see like other players' offensive abilities. In five mans, it's, it's okay, but like any bigger than that, it's too much visual clutter. Especially for people with like older, older rigs. Like tur turning off other people's spell effects could really help like clean up a boss fight and make it run a little bit smoother for people that are just on rigs that are a little bit older. Oh, we got a great vault slot upgraded to 470. That's nice. And another splintered spark of dreams. Sixteen, sixteen Waycrest Manor. Uh, probably not a 16 Waycrest Manor. Maybe we can bump it down, though. My favorite zone themes. I, I like, I like places like Mulgor. Uh, the, in Dragonflight, the Azure Span is nice. Grizzly Hills. The, the zones that are like darker zones, like, you know, like Duskwood. They're okay for a little while, but after a time, they're just like, they're, they kind of get like, dreary, I guess. 
Uh, Drustvar in um, in Battle for Azeroth was a really nice zone. I really liked like the autumn the autumn forest vibe was nice. It was like dark without getting too dark. Uh, let's see. Yeah, like maybe we can bump it down to a 14. And we could do a 14 uh, Waycrest. That would probably be okay. Found any good treasure lately? Tell me another story sometime. Try not to slay too many dragons. Let's let's get a repair. There we go. Okay. I feel like this character is going to end up with a higher rating than my mage. I should I should pop onto the mage at some point and see like what her rating is. But then again, no, because she she's got these ones done at a higher key, like Everbloom, Blackrock Hold, and Dawn of the Infinites. I think she has done it at, like a higher key. Four seventy two. I like 472. I like getting a healer as my first person in the group. That's nice. Whoa. Cressetta. I really appreciate that. I, I don't ask for gold, but I will I will I will take your gold and your items if you're going to proffer them in a trade. And I, I really do appreciate it. That's uh that's incredibly generous of you. I am sure I want to accept the trade. That's incredibly, incredibly generous. And I thank you very much. That's like super helpful. That word <laughs> It's I, it's incredibly helpful. I I can't express enough how grateful I am for that. You didn't have to do that, but yeah, you're awesome. I don't even know what this is. <clears throat> Imbue your weapon with energy. Oh, okay, okay. It's a it's like a two hour weapon enchant, like kind of like a sharpening stone type of deal. Uh, let's see. Let's go here. And I think that's, uh, is that, oh, we need one more DPS. Let's go here. <laughs> Getting rich overnight. I mean, when, when people are so generous, yeah, I mean, it happens. That's really incredible. And so, yeah, this is, this is going to... Oh, we, we click it. Okay, okay. Oh, and it just applies to the weapon. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, and deploys a hammer for repairs. That's very thoughtful of you. You're, you're obviously aware of some of my problems, like forgetting to repair my gear is, is a big problem for me. Yep. That's, that's, that's true. Now I, now I can afford stuff. Like, now I can maybe... Maybe I can go grab a, a couple more flasks eventually. Now that I'm not, like, completely, utterly broke. Could be a good idea. Uh, I could, like... I could also head to Waycrest Manor. That, that'd be smart. I'm the only person not there. So, like, I feel... I feel kind of bad. It is my key, after all. Here we go. A summon. A summon is nice. I'll take a summon.
All right, everybody is good. Let's get the food buff going. Let's get a flask going. And let's get going. Welcome home, daughter. I see you brought guests. Don't you dare call me daughter, witch. Some of it may go to the transmog mount. I, I think inevitably, like, I am still gonna buy a WoW token inevitably. Maybe. I, I'd hate to give them my money, but it might it might be necessary. Uh, across all of my characters, like I, I might have a I might have a little bit of gold now. The shaman has like I don't know. She has like ten thousand gold. It's not it's not a large number. I'll have to uh, take inventory and see like how much I have. Because the, the transmog mount is 120k. I, I don't want to like, I don't want to blow 120k though and go right back to being broke. That seems like it'd be a silly idea. That seems like it'd be really silly. Just to turn right around and go back to being totally broke. The transmog mount is like most useful while I'm like leveling up a character. When I, when you're like out in the world trying to do stuff, like when you're coming back to town all the time, it's like you can just use the transmog people at town. But when you're leveling up and you're out in the world and you look stupid, well, there's not a lot of options for you. That's where the transmog mount like really comes in handy. So that I look less stupid while leveling up. Also, as I've learned, like, transmog is quite a money sink. It's like 500 gold to transmog into, like, a decent set. 500 gold is a lot of gold to spend on transmog when you're a person who is, like, chronically broke. They probably have millions stashed away. I mean, maybe, but I still it's still a lot of freaking gold. Like, to hand somebody 75,000 gold is not a drop in the hat. So, like, uh, no matter how much money they have, I'm incredibly grateful. Zenkai, thanks for coming on those runs, man. I appreciate it. We'll see you next time.
Continue your hunt for Lady Waycrest. Can I turn up the game sounds a little bit? Uh, maybe a little bit. The music in here sometimes gets loud, but I will, uh, I'll crank it up a little bit. You guys can let me know if it gets too, too loud or obnoxious. Like, I, in, I intentionally keep the sound effects lower, like the battle sounds and stuff are intentionally low. And I try to leave the music higher than the battle sounds, uh, because I, I find that, you know, if the battle sounds are too loud, it gets, it gets really annoying. It gets annoying sometimes in a way that you don't quite realize. So yeah, like, the sound effects are, are purposely low. But I do like the music to be to be kind of like loud, not overpowering, but like a little bit loud. Glenn, good morning. Chimney, good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening, guys. Welcome. I'm pretty sure my divine toll like pulled these guys. Uh, I, I did not. I did not mean for divine toll to do that, but I'm pretty sure it did anyway. You went away for a couple weeks and now I'm a mythic key master. <laughs> yes. Yes, that happened. Yeah. I uh I kinda got bored with everything else and I, I had been wanting to give uh, mythics a try, so we gave mythics a try and it turns out I really like them and it turns out that they're a lot of fun and there's not like all the toxicity I thought and the timers aren't as big of a deal as I thought, and yeah, I've been having a great time. Uh, we started on the mage. And then we, we got her a bunch of gear, then we moved over to the Paladin. And uh, I'll be taking the Paladin into Season 4. I'll be taking them both into Season 4, but the Paladin's gonna get uh, Keymaster first. And then we'll switch over and get the Mage uh, sorted out.
setting them free. Make sure Lady Waycrest pays dearly for this foul witchcraft. Will I go for AOTC? You'll have to tell me what AOTC means because I'm, I'm stupid and I don't know what that means. You'll have, you'll have to spell it out for me. Pro problem since I don't know what it is probably not <laughs> that's my, my tentative answer ahead of the if ahead of the curve is a raiding thing then no I, I don't I don't really plan to get into raiding not until war within comes out so if, if ahead of the curve is the raiding achievement no I don't I don't think I'm gonna do I don't think I'm gonna do raids I, I don't really want to pug anything in a, in a bigger group size, you know? I, I don't have a big interest in, in pugging raids. And I don't have a raiding guild, so... I'll be more interested in raids once, like, it's newer raids that, I, that not everybody has done a million times. So, like, in, in War Within, when I can kind of get in on the ground floor and start learning the fights with everybody else then I'll be more interested in it. But ultimately, like, I I'm still not really interested in pugging raids. Like, I, I maybe I would do a normal raid, but I don't even think I would pug a heroic. It, it seems like it'd be kind of a craptastic time. Yeah, in, in War Within, I will, uh, I'll, I'll try to do raids, but... Again, like, keep in mind, like, I'm a person, like, I don't log, I don't have logs, I, I don't care about logs, I'm never gonna have logs. And like when you're, I feel like when you're signing up for pugs for raids, like just like season of discovery, like people want to see your logs. They they want to know that you log, and, and it, it's very important to them. And that's fine. It's just not very important to me, so I don't do it. So get, getting into pug raids might be a non-starter. Sod is a strange place. Yeah, Sod is a strange place. It, it became a very, like, uncomfortable place to be as, like, a classic player and, like, just as a WoW player in general. I, I didn't like any of the vibes I got from, like, basically from Phase 2 onward. And then, like, I, I played one day of Phase 3, and I just didn't want to do it anymore. That's kind of, that's kind of the road that led me here. Was, like... I kind of decided if I wanted to even approach like any kind of sweaty content, I would rather just do it in retail. Where like the progression actually matters a little bit. Where I'm actually like unlocking cool stuff for my characters. As opposed to getting really sweaty in what was supposed to be like a fun like season of the game that turned out to like just not really be a lot of fun.
But that being said, even though the audience for Sod is not me, and even though the audience for Sod is probably not like a lot of casual classic players, they found an audience. They found, they found a huge audience of people that like like it, they like it. The server populations are high still, like some of the server pops are full. So like people are playing it. I'm just not playing it because you know, it just wasn't for me. And now, like, now I don't even know if, like, Cataclysm is for me either. That's kind of, like, the problem I've run into. Is after after they announced the Cataclysm roadmap, and, like, all the content for Cata is going to be out by January 2025, I, I kind of lost interest uh, in Cata. Because it, it seems like they, they want to rush it, they want to rush it. Like, I don't really... I don't really like to rush things. And if they already want to rush Kata before it's even out, then like, who cares, you know? Pre-ordered War Within? No, not yet. I'm gonna, I'm gonna order. I'm gonna get it at the end of the month. Now that the alpha is going, we're probably a couple months out from beta, and obviously, like the big selling point of buying it early is so that I can get into the beta. So yeah, I have to wait. I gotta plop down the ninety dollar price tag to get into the beta, and uh, you know, to play the game when it actually releases, and not three days later, you have to buy the ninety dollar version. So I, I've kind of been putting it off until I felt that we were closer to beta access. Uh, but with Alpha going on now, you know, beta could be any time within the next couple months. So yeah, at the end of the month I'm going to grab it. Which season in Dragonflight was the best? I have no idea. Se season 3 is the first season in the game that I've done any kind of mythics or endgame content. Yeah, I, I keep trying to figure out like what I could possibly get out of playing Cataclysm. Like, if I want to see the zone stories, if I, if I want to read all the quests in, like, the changed world, I can do that in retail. You know, and I have, I have done a lot of that. We've done a lot of old world questing in retail where I've, I've leveled up characters in the old world zones. 
Uh, oh, damn. We are getting low on HP. And, uh, yeah, like, if I want to do, like, endgame content, and if I want to focus on endgame content, then I would rather do that in retail. You know, the version of the game that's going to keep going, the version of the game where my character gets to continue to go onward into the future. Um... If I want, if I was a collector, if I wanted to collect transmog and mounts, I would also rather do that in retail. I, I mean, I'm not much of a collector, but if I was, I, I wouldn't be doing that stuff in Cataclysm. I would just be doing it in like the main game, because uh, there, there's more to collect and everything looks better. So, I mean, besides besides playing through the level 80 to 85 content and reading those quests, like, I'm not really sure that I have any big interest in Cataclysm. Like, I'm gonna take a character through the 80 to 85 zones, I think, and just, like, read all those quests and, and see what there is to see, but when it comes to, like, focusing on endgame stuff in Cataclysm, like, it, it just doesn't make sense to me to spend my time there doing that. Uh, you know, I'm having a lot of fun doing these Mythic Plus. If I'm gonna do endgame stuff, I'd rather focus most of my time on retail. And, you know, with Classic, Classic for me has always been, like, about the journey, but with Cataclysm, it, it's it's funny because, like... It's funny because they remade the old world, okay? They remade every zone, right? And then they significantly reduced how long your journey is. So now you have this, like, this, this whole world that's been reshaped by the Cataclysm, but you spend, like, hardly any time in that world because of how fast you level up. They, they need to do something so that, like, once you hit level 60, you don't have to go to Outland. So that once you're level 70, you don't have to go to Northrend. They need to make, like, maybe at 60, things start to level scale for you. I don't know. Maybe there's no level scaling until you hit 60. And after that, there's level scaling that would let you stay in the old world and see the old zones. Like, it would not have to go into uh, Outland, not have to go into Northrend. And that way, at least, you could take a character through Cataclysm stuff and you could see more of the remade zones. You know, you, you wouldn't have to spend 20 levels uh, in old expansions just to come back out the other side back in, like, in Kalimdor in the Eastern Kingdoms. But yeah, like, uh, you get this whole big world that's all changed and then, like, you know, your leveling journey is super fast. So, like, it's not, it's not even about the journey. It seems like it's such a weird thing. You lack vision. Death is an inevitable force that stalks you at every turn. Yeah, like I killed Deathwing back in the day. I remember riding on the stupid dragon back and awesome. like... My same same thing kind of with, with like the Lich King raids. Like, yeah, I killed the Lich King. I didn't, I didn't have a desire to do those raids again, like in Classic. Because I've already seen it. And it's like, if I'm going to do endgame content, I'd like it to be in a modern version of the game where I get to see new stuff. And, and not see stuff that I've all, I've seen it all before. So yeah, I, I, I've been struggling to kind of determine what my level of engagement is going to be in Cataclysm Classic. And if I'm not going to super engage with Cataclysm Classic, I've been trying to figure out, like, how, what am I going to spend my time on? We cannot allow Gorak Tool to cross into our world. Every horror in the manor is making its way to us. Maybe I'll be spending my time playing Mr. Pandaria Remix, if I'm really lucky. That was a long, long stun. Very, very unfortunate stun. There we go. Our great vault's gonna look good next reset. Very, very nice. This is what we were waiting for. 
This is our last slot. Our last slot that needs a uh, that needs an epic. We can get this turned into our fourth our fourth piece of tier gear. We can get our four piece bonus. Uh, that's really good. That is really good. That was a really good run. I know it was a good run because I got to talk through it. I didn't have to pay too much attention and people weren't dying left and right. Awesome tanking, awesome healing. Very nice. There you go, there, there's, your, there's your healing done. I didn't realize that like druids do a lot of, uh, a lot of passive healing. That's interesting. All right, so that's cool. We, we've got blue, blue, blue. Like, yeah, we're not going to get all of them, obviously, but it's been a fun ride. Uh, let's equip these gloves. Draconically epic. We are now we are now better geared than the, the than the mage. The mage only got draconically superior and we hit draconically epic, which is awesome. Teo, no problem, man. Thanks for thanks for coming along. I really appreciate it. The mop zones and story were awesome. Yeah, like I I didn't play a lot during mop. Mop was an expansion that I kind of quit the game for a while, and I came back uh, for Warlords of Draenor. So like with the mop remix, at least like the first time I go through it, I'm gonna I'm gonna read all the quests and like I don't like kind of take my time with it. I'm gonna read all the main quests. I might I might not read like every single quest in the game. But I'm gonna I'm gonna do a recorded series with the Mop Remix, and I'm gonna read all the quests and, and see. They're they're kind of phrasing it as like you'll be able to see all the content. Like I think you're gonna hit 70 long before you finish all the Mop content. Like I don't think you're gonna get to go see the patches and the raids. Like I think you you, you could do that stuff, but you're gonna be doing it at 70. You're, you're gonna hit 70, I think, within the first few zones, so I don't know how it's gonna all play out, I'm curious to see. Uh, let's fly over to Tears Hold, and we will turn this into our fourth piece of tier gear, and we'll get that squared away. And then that left us with a 16 Dark Heart Thicket. 16 dark heart thicket like maybe we bump that down to a 14 maybe we could do a 14 dark heart thicket they're having the raids more like level up raids yeah i just wonder when they start to unlock them it just seems like you're leveling up really fast in mop remix and i, I just don't know how you would possibly like see all of the content on one character like maybe across multiple characters or maybe if you were just like sticking it out for cosmetics at level 70 like if you just wanted to keep farming bronze and you just wanted to buy like every single cosmetic set available with bronze then yeah then you could probably like go and do like all the content but i don't know i guess we'll find out eventually is the four set for pallies good i have no idea I, I, I don't know. I mean, I, I feel like having a four set is better than not having it. So, like, in that regard, it's probably better for me. <laughs> but I don't know how good it is. We'll, we'll take a look at it. Plunderstorm was fun for a little while. I, I had no ambition to do the Renown track to 40 because I, I, I don't care about cosmetics that much. But I had fun with it. I got to, like, Renown 11 with it, and it was fun. The four piece is very nice. Nice. Okay, let's see. Uh, let's put you here. Uh, yeah, so... The set bonus. It's like seven paragraphs. 
Uh, let's see. Wrathful Sanction grants you Echoes of Wrath, causing your next Templar's Verdict or Divine Storm to deal damage a second time at... So it's like... The whole thing is that you deal damage and you have a chance to deal more damage. Like... Yeah, like, it, it can't help but be good. Because it's just a chance to deal, like, more damage. Which is what you like to see. It kind of, it kind of busted my transmog, so that, that, that's unfortunate, but yeah. Overall, uh, pretty good. It's words that make you deal more damage. Yeah, like, what's the set bonus? It's three paragraphs that make you deal more damage. Absolutely. Uh, and yeah, guys, with that, I'm out of time for today, actually. I would love to do more, but I am out of time. And, like, I feel like we're good. I feel like we're good to go into Season 4. We, we got Draconically Epic. We got our four-piece bonus. We're at a 453 item level. Uh, you know, we, we got some experience uh, in Mythic Plus, and we're ready to take that into Season 4 on Tuesday. So yeah, thank you guys for being here and hanging out with me. Thank you for letting me do these runs. I've been having a really great time. And if not for you guys and you guys showing up and your support, I would not be able to do these runs. And I would never know how much I like Mythic Plus. So thanks again. If you had a good time hanging out, leaving a like, subbing to the channel, ringing the bell, all that stuff really does help me out a lot. And I appreciate those that do. Until next time, take care of yourselves out there and take care of each other. And we will see you back in Azeroth again very soon. Bye for now.